The current video demonstrates a horizontal cleavage tear repair using circumferential compression stitches. The first step is to define the anterior and posterior margins of the tear. An arthroscopic biter is used to remove the most central portion of the meniscus to expose the horizontal cleavage tear. This will allow access to the tear site using a probe. Normal meniscus will not separate when tension is applied with the probe. This will allow easy identification of the anterior and posterior margins. In order to maximize the healing potential, biologic augmentation is performed. A shaver is advanced into the horizontal cleavage tear and both the inferior and superior leaflets are debrided. The debridement is taken back to the level of the meniscocapsular junction, which can be seen here. Prior to proceeding to meniscal repair, a probe should be inserted and the flow should be stopped, confirming that there is bleeding from the peripheral meniscus. In this technique, the meniscus is repaired using a Soterix Novostitch suture passing device. The upper jaw is advanced over the superior aspect of the meniscus to the level of the meniscocapsular junction. The inferior jaw is placed under the inferior leaflet and a single deployment of the device allows for a suture to be passed around the horizontal cleavage meniscus tear. We demonstrate here a second pass of a suture. Again. The suture is passed from inferior to superior and then retrieved by the upper jaw and removed from the knee. After each suture is passed, an arthroscopic sliding knot is advanced over the superior aspect of the meniscus. This is then secured in place with three half hitches with the knot lying at the meniscocapsular junction. This clearly demonstrates that the superior and inferior leaflets are being uniformly compressed. After the knot has been secured, the free ends of the suture are removed with an arthroscopic suture cutter. The suture configuration created are circumferential compression stitches. As the repair advances from the posterior third of the meniscus to the mid-body, the ipsilateral portal will no longer provide a perpendicular trajectory towards the meniscus tear. At this point, the passport cannula is removed from the ipsilateral portal and placed in the contralateral portal. The contralateral portal becomes the working portal while viewing from the ipsilateral portal. Multiple stitches can now be placed at 5 mm increments to complete the repair. After completion of the repair, stability is confirmed. This probe demonstrates that the inferior and superior leaflets have been uniformly compressed and the meniscus is stable.